each type of picker button can be attached with a menu, no matter it's a normal menu or a marking menu, like this. This is a normal menu and this is a marking menu. Um, for a button that with a right clicking menu, check out this. It has a solid triangle here. And if the button only uh, have a left mouse button clicking menu, and without any right clicking menu, it will be uh, display a little uh, angle bracket here. So um, let's see how to create menu and how to copy paste the menu. To create or edit the uh, menu of the picker item, you just select that button and go to the menu editor. This is where you uh, create and edit the menus. Okay, that's pretty simple to use. Um, at the top row, uh, it shows the ID of the item and it shows you how many items you have already selected for now. And here we got a test area. If you uh, finish editing the uh, menu items here, you can just use the left mouse button or right mouse button. Click here to test out the menu. And you can design a right clicking menu for your picker button as well as a left clicking menu. So you can design two menus for one button uh, separately. Uh, the two menus can be different, one for right clicking and one for left clicking. Okay, uh, this is the menu view. Uh, if you check on the marking menu, uh, and you can create a marking menu for this button. So right now we are editing the right clicking menu and we just type in say um, select all and this is a select none. Okay, uh, we, we haven't input any code here, I just uh, want to demonstrate this really quick. So uh, with this being done, you can just right click on this area to test out these menus. Okay, uh, it's really intuitive. So the basic workflow is pretty simple. You just highlight a menu item here, no matter it's a marking menu or a normal menu. You just highlight that menu item and edit its label and input the codes. Okay. Um, also, uh, for Maya 2016, it support the icon. So you can pick out a icon to be used. Say I want this warning icon and I just open it, then you can have an icon in this marking menu so you can test it out very quickly. So this is only support in Maya 2016 uh, but if you open this file which contain the icon menu item uh, if you open this picker file in Maya 2015 it won't display a icon for you since this menu is based on mail and or python so uh, they can get out of the maya limitation regarding of these menu items you can switch the menu into the sub menu so i s say this is a parent menu and if you turn it as a sub menu you just check on the sub menu and suddenly the sub menu view become available so because this is a marking menu in the main menu so the sub menu will be a marking menu as well so you can input the uh, sub menu item and you can just other item so let's test it out and uh, we just right click on this area so we got this menu items and we got the sub menu and if we go to the sub menu it's display these sub menus for us okay so it's pretty simple and straightforward um, also if um, I input the menu item here uh, main menu and you can uh, insert a separator below this item so we just press the add separator icon so this is the uh, separator and you can keep moving uh, second secondary menu okay so you to use this separator to separate different group of features um, if it's not a marking menu say we just create another select button and if we use the normal menu with, without this marking menu be checked on say a normal menu uh, maybe a sec menu. Uh, we have we just skip uh, inputting any codes here, but for you you need to input the code for each menu item. Otherwise your menu just 
doesn't make any sense. Um, so for now, I can highlight this normal menu and add a separator below it. So for a uh, normal menu, um, you can input a label for the separator. So say this is a um, um, uh, select features. So say this is a the, the, the menu item below this separator are all for the select features. Okay, so you can use this labeled separator to uh, group these uh, different features, so animator can better uh, read it and use it. But if you switch to marking menu, it just doesn't display any divider labels because this is a limitation for Maya. If it's uh, marking menu, it won't display any divider labels. Divider is a separator I just mentioned before. Uh, if I switch back to marking menu, it will display the uh, divider label again. And there's a long here. Uh, what does this mean? So if I type in third menu, menu, and fourth menu, and so on and so forth. And uh, if I want to uh, add a separator below, so this will uh, indicate that uh, only second menu is for sec uh, select features, but if I say uh, all the second menu and third menu and fourth menu are for select features, just there's some difference between these two group. So I will turn off this long divider um, options. So make it short divider, say. Uh, so for now, animator can read it and know that all select menu and third menu and fourth menu are for select features. Okay, so this is the use of the long options, only valid for the separator. There's also a test button here for testing the code inside this code editor. So if you um, say you type in the, a simple command here and you hit the test, it will uh, execute this command no matter it's Mail or Python. So uh, for this normal menu item, you can also check on the sub menu, and if it's a normal menu, the sub menu should be a normal menu as well. So you can type in further to uh, create more menu items here. Um, this is pretty much it. It's pretty simple, and you can just test it out uh, through this area using this left mouse button or. Uh, right mouse button. And for now, we are dealing with the right click menu, and we can switch to the left click menu, and it will refresh the report and can just create a, a brand new menus. Okay, but if you want the uh, left, left click menu and right click menu shares the exactly same content, say uh, no matter I right click on this or left click on this, it always pop up the same menu items. So how to do that? You just switch to the left click menu and check on the use right menus. And that way, no matter I left click on this or right click on this, it will pop up the same menus. Okay. Uh, so basically, you just design the right click menu and switch to the left click menu and turn on the use right menu. This way, the uh, the menu will be shared among right clicking and left clicking behavior. Okay. Um, uh, another thing I will mention, it's possible if I uh, turn, say, be, uh, say normal sub menu, uh, maybe input a separator and then um, okay, it's sub menu. So it's possible to just um, middle mouse button to drag this um, menus around. Say this is a main menu. Here. You can drag middle mouse button, drag this menu item around to reposition them. Uh, even you can just drag the uh, menu item from sub view to the main view, and also from the main view to the sub view. So uh, all these dragging works. Another way to do this, uh, maybe the better way to do this, uh, is that you can actually copy paste these menu items. So say I want to copy these uh, menu items, I just use Control C, and I want to say uh, activate other button, and say I want to paste it here. So I just Control V, and 
the labels and the codes and the icons will be copied to this uh, menu. Okay, so all the menu items here support copy and paste. Um, you can also Control X to cut that, and that will delete this um, menu item instantly, and you can paste it anywhere else. So uh, there's also an access to these features I just mentioned regarding of the copy paste features. Uh, you can just press on this triangle menu and copy and cut and paste. Also, you can borrow from object clicking menu. What does this mean? Um, say if you already designed the left clicking menu and you want that the right clicking menu uh, be created upon this left clicking menu. So I just uh, switch to the right clicking menu and use the borrow from object clicking menu. So currently we are dealing with the right clicking menu, so it will borrow the contents, I mean the menu items from the left clicking menu. So if currently we are dealing with the left clicking menu, it, it will borrow the uh, menu items from the right clicking menu instead. Uh, so you can further trick it and maybe uh, a little bit customizations so that two menus are different. And another way to copy paste the menu is using this copy paste property tool. How key for that is I. So you just right clicking on this um, pick up button and copy menu data and you can just left mouse button click on this newly created select button and the menu data will be borrowed from this to this. Okay, So now this button also have uh, uh, same menu as this button has. So uh, if you want to paste menu between different panels, uh, I mean if the panel here we got a marking menu here and you just uh, right clicking on this and copy menu data and just left mouse button click on this picker panels title area okay so that way we'll paste the menus between panels so this is pretty much all i want to uh, talk about regarding of the menus i hope you like it see ya